Hi and welcome to Glassfish a la carte part 3. Uh, this is where I'm installing Glassfish from a bootstrap uh, of 5 megabytes and creating my own distro to deploy an EJB plus Jersey uh, RESTful web services application to it. So there is my bootstrap code. Uh, at this point I can see the packages that are installed. It's a very minimal set. I can set a new uh, repository, make it the preferred one and point to the development repository for Glassfish. Uh, so dot org slash v3 slash dev and give it a name. Once I've done that, I can certainly uh, list all the remote packages that are available and I can see everything that makes the Glassfish application server. I can add then a new uh, local repository where I have defined a distribution, uh, which is a handy way of uh, defining a set of packages. Uh, so now when I do this list uh, of remote packages, I can see this additional local repository and this sample distro. And if I use the update graphical tool, I can easily see uh, the dependencies. And this is actually my own little distribution or profile, if you will. Uh, that I need to deploy my application. So let's install that uh, sample distro. This will actually go ahead and look at all the dependencies and as you can see here download 15 packages that's 272 files for a total of 21 uh, and a half megabytes. So it downloads and installs all the packages and once that's done you can actually see uh, by doing a list uh, all the packages that have been installed. So at this point you can create uh, your own domain with a given port and a given admin port. Call it my domain. Accept the default and start the domain. So it's admin start dash domain. And before we actually deploy something, I'm starting jconsole so we can actually look at how much memory this whole thing is actually um, using. So this is just an, uh, a domain that was started, so uh, we see that we're around 25 megabytes. Uh, let's now deploy this application which ships with the Jersey distribution and um, combines uh, Jersey RESTful resources uh, as well as EJBs for trans transactional behavior. So the water file has been deployed and when we list the applications we can actually see that it was deployed and it's using both the EJB and the web container. And let's now open the actual uh, application and exercise it. So here it is um, on the jersey-ejb um, URL. So I'm playing just a little bit with it um, and at this point we can go back to jconsole and see that there has been a bit more uh, memory used by the deployment of the application but overall it's about 40 megs. So that's it. Visit glassfish.org for more details. Thanks.